Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Saeed Adi Mardanadmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss how we can evaluate triple iterated integrals. For this purpose, we will learn exercise 15.5, question number 7 from Thomas Calipulus, 12th edition book. The strip color problem is evaluate the triple iterated integrals. Here you can see we have three integrals, functions given to us x square plus y square plus z square, and our variables are dz, dy, dx. Here, dz is called our most inner variable, dy is called central variable, dx is called outer variables. We all, in triple integrals, we always move from inner towards outer. What it means? First of all, we will integrate the given function with respect to most inner variable. Then on the outcome, we will apply central variable. And then on the outcome of central variable, we will apply outer variable. After this clarity, please note that the limits of inner and central variable in triple integrals may be constant, may be variable, but the limits of outer variable, most outer variable, just like here dx, are always constant. So after these two main points, number one, that we, we will always move from inner towards outer. And then second point is the limits of inner and central variable may be constant, may be variable, but the limits of outer variable are always constants. We can solve this integral and with respect to inner variable dz, you see our most inner variable is z. With respect to z, x and y will behave like constant. So in order to discuss this phenomena, first of all, we will recall from the con a concept from calculus. Have a look here. Suppose that in simple single variable calculus, if you have to integrate this function 3x plus 5 with respect to x, then how you would integrate it? You can see, you will remember that 3 remain as it is and you will apply integral on x. So you have 3x squared over 2 plus 5x plus c constant of integration. What it means? In this function 3x plus 5, you have two different kinds of variables. First, uh, two different kinds of constants. First constant is 3 and second constant is 5. And look here how you are dealing with 3 and 5. If your constant term is being multiplied with your variable, your constant term remains as it is, and you will apply rules of integration on the variable term. But if the constant term is being added or subtracted, then you how you will integrate it? You will write down the variable with respect to which you are applying the integration. We are going to apply this concept in this particular question. Note that with respect to z, x square and y square are constant. So we will integrate them as integration of x square will be x square into z because with respect to z, x square is constant and it is being added. So just like this 5, we will delete it as x square z plus integration of y square is y square z because with respect to z, y squared is constant. So we will deal it just like 5 here. Plus, integration of z squared is z cube over 3 with the help of power formula. So we have this function after integrating with respect to z. In the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus to evaluate the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. For this purpose, we have replaced z in this function with 1 for the upper limits minus is of formula and then z with lower limit. So upper limit minus lower limit is called fundamental theorem of calculus. We have applied upper limit first and then minus lower limit. For upper limit, we have replaced z with 1 and for lower limit, we have replaced z with 0. So after simplification, we have x squared plus y squared plus 1 by 3. Now, we will integrate 
this function x squared plus y squared plus 1 over 3 with respect to y because the outcome of most inner variable z is x squared plus y squared plus 1 over 3. Now, on the outcomes of most inner variable, we will apply integration with respect to central variable. Now, that is y. Again, with respect to y, x square and 1 over 3 are constant. So, they will behave like same thing. So, in the next step, we will integrate them. Integration of x square will be x square y plus integration of y square is y cube over 3. And integration of 1 over 3 is 1 over 3 y for the limits 0 to 1. In the next step, again, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. For this purpose, we have replaced y with 1 minus we have replaced y with 0. So we are left with x square plus 2 by 3 because 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is 2 by 3. After this, we have completed the integration with respect to central variable y. Now, on the outcomes of integration of central variable, we will apply integration with respect to our most outer variable, which is x. So, the integration of x square will be x cube over 3, and integration of 2 by 3 is 2 by 3 x, because 2 by 3 is constant for the limit 0 to 1. In the next step, we have applied fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. For this purpose, we have replaced x here with 1 for upper limit and x here with 0 for lower limit. So, upper limit minus lower limit. So, after this, we have 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3. The second bracket is 0. So, we have 3 over 3, which is equal to 1. And this completes our this lecture related to question number 7, exercise 15.5. I hope this lecture is helpful for you. Please like and subscribe to my channel and share this content with your fellows. Thank you so much for watching. Allah Hafiz.